Hi, I'm Lou, and today I'm going to show you how I built this hidden closet. It all started in this apartment that I'm building for my daughter. You may remember the video on the beams, the video on that table that I built for her, the video on the bed that I built for her, and there she is right there. And then our problem now is we don't have enough closet space, and she loves that mirror against the wall, so we're going to put a secret closet behind it. I took a 2x8 and cut it into two long, thin triangles like this. Next, using several passes with the table saw, I cut in a groove like this along the front edge so that the mirror is going to slip in like that. I did the same thing with a straight, flat piece of wood for the bottom of the mirror. I want to connect my side triangle boards to the bottom straight board, but I don't want to put in screws here, so I'll use angle brackets on the inside. I would buy brackets like this at the hardware store, but I already have this stuff laying around at home. Here are the sides and bottom put together with angle brackets, and I've got a metal sign in there to show where the mirror will go, and I've got another board across the top for stability. Here it is from the back. I had to take one side off to get the mirror in. Here it is from the front, and you can see how the mirror fits into the slot in the wood right there. This is going to be a door on hinges, so I'm going to put some cross cables to give it strength. Put a screw up here. And down here. Tie a wire between them and tighten them down. Because of that tilted ceiling, I didn't have much room on the top, so I just made this stick-on trim piece that will go right here. Here's our mirror all trimmed out, and in case you're wondering why I made it slanted back, the wall over there is only five feet tall, and if I had it flat against the wall, it would look more like this and I couldn't see the top of my head. Now it's time to cut through the drywall into the attic space and the studs are about two feet apart. I used a magnet to find the stud. I'll use this sideways cutting bit mounted to a Dremel. There's the drywall panel taken out. There's the hole into the attic and you can see we've already got stuff piled in there from down below. I'm gonna want this door to fit flush against the drywall so I'm gonna cut out this piece of trim right here. I'll mount hinges on the back side of the mirror. Actually, I think I'm going to sink this hinge into the wood about a quarter inch so this can be flush with the drywall. Since this is just hollow drywall, we're going to add blocking support back here to mount the hinges. There's the blocking installed with screws like this. We're ready to mount the door to the wall and I put some spacers underneath there and there to make sure that the door doesn't drag the floor. And there's our door. Next, I'm going to install a 4 by 8 sheet of OSB flooring, much like that temporary piece there. I was able to bend the OSB just enough to slide it in from below. And we'll screw it down. With the flooring in, now we're going to work on the drywall, and we'll start with this back slope here. And there's our first sheet of drywall. I've added blocking, and now we're ready for drywall on the back. And there are the back panels all installed. And I put in the end panels from down below. Now back to the front wall of the closet, we have these holes down below and I will cover them with OSB. I won't go into the details in this video, but I wired out of the back of that outlet over to this switch, which leads to an outlet here, which turns on that light. Since this is somewhere between a closet and an attic, I'm not going to mud the drywall or put in fancy flooring, but I will fill in gaps like this where you can see light below. I was going to use great stuff, but this Loctite foam is white, so it'll match the drywall a little better. Now that my foam is completely dry, I'll cut off some of the excess. We'll add a clothes hook on the inside of the door. I'll cut up this wire shelving into these two pieces. I've drilled holes on the inside of the door on both sides and there's the shelving installed in the door. Now I'll put this ebony stain on the frame. And that's what it looks like in ebony. I don't want to make this door opening any smaller with trim molding so I'll just cover up the raw edges with white duct tape. Here we are with duct taped edges and I went ahead and duct taped some of the trusses so they wouldn't snag the clothes. We'll use this 3 quarter inch black steel pipe as a clothes rod. Drill a hole where I want it on the end wall. I slid this in from downstairs. Here we are on the outside wall. You can see the pipe sticking through there and we're shoring it up with a 2x3. And here's our closet all done with room for hanging clothes on top and storage boxes below. Thanks for watching.